Hello, hello, how are you doing? This is 2020. I'm sure you're so much excited to see this year because the Lord has made us see this year and we have to change things. We have to change the way we think, the way we do business, the way we tack our own tactics of doing everything. We have to change them. And somebody was asking me, what are various ways I can be able to make money? And of course, I explained in a, in a previous video. And uh, of course, there's something that... I came to understand we spend almost um, 50 more than 50 to 60 percent of our time on social media in the morning when we wake up we're checking Facebook Instagram Twitter we want to know how the world is doing what other people are doing basically we're spending all our time on social media but still most people have never known that you can make money on social media why should you stay in somewhere Put all your effort, do all the things that you can be able to do, and still you're not making money from what you spend time most. You know, the, the, the place you spend your, 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 your biggest time. And that's why I put down a few points. There are only five. I've written down them in, in my book here. The different ways that you can be able to dominate social media in 2020. When you dominate social media, this is what's going to happen. You're going to become an influencer. People will want to advertise with you. Imagine if you have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube or you have 100,000 followers on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Every company will be looking for you. They want you to advertise for them their products. There is a, a, a new barber shop. They want you to speak something about it so that people can come. And uh, even if you're not advertising for people as well, there's something else that you're doing. You can advertise your, your own products. You can advertise your own uh, services. You can become an influencer in your niche. You can be able to tell people your stories. You can be able to... There's a lot that you can do as long as you have the numbers. Numbers sell. So, without wasting a lot of time, let me go straight to the point of today. Uh, point number one is lead generation by gathering data. What is lead generation? You're basically leading people to a certain place so that you can gather data and advertise to them whatever product that you want to do. This happens through something called emails, taking emails of people. Have you ever visited a website whereby you're watching something and then all of a sudden you see a, a pop-up which tells you that uh, click here so that you receive a free copy of book A, B, C, D. Put in your email, key in your email and all that and then we give you a free copy, we give you a free gift, we give you something free. The moment you key in your email, on the other side you're going to get the gift. If it's a book, if it's an ebook, if it's maybe a certain tip or whatever they have said, a video, uh, information. But after that, you have already subscribed yourself. This guy is going to advertise himself over and over again using your email because he already has your email. He already has your phone number if you uh, send a message or something like that, you know. So what happens is lead generation is another, a very good a way of dominating social media you don't need to force people telling people hey check me out check me out no some people will start running away from you the only thing that you need to do is have a lead generation lead people towards some place using some tips and some bonuses and things like that and once you have their attention you can advertise whichever product that you want to advertise that is called lead generation of course is sending people to a certain landing page number two Text message marketing. Kenya, we have Safaricom, we have Airtel, we have all these uh, big telecommunications. Have you ever seen a certain day that uh, you see a certain, uh, let me say, let me say, let me say, you see a certain SMS which comes in form of an advertisement. Uh, get this schizotone, get this kind of, uh, download this or check out this. And it's sent in a very, very funny way it's not just the normal text that you get from your friends but it's a kind of advertisement that you're getting now this kind of advertisement is usually paid you can just go to a, any telecommunication go and tell them uh, because these guys have a big database of people they have almost close to i think safaricom has almost 20 million uh, people who um who are in their database so they can advertise to you these numbers mean money you can go and advertise whichever thing that you want to advertise using text message of course you pay some money spend money to make money and as well you can text people uh, there's a rule that i use which is called the 1000 text rule personally i've used it for so many times before when i used to live in mombasa i used to uh 
give out apartments and then the only way that i could advertise because i didn't know another way i could send text to people i made sure that every week i send text message to over a thousand people out of a thousand people when i tell them hey are you looking for a low cost apartment in mombasa blah blah blah, blah. i can give you this apartment and all that out of the 1,000 people who have received my message, 20% which is about 200 of them, these are the guys who will make noise for you. They, they make noise to you. They will abuse you. Don't send me this message. Don't do this. And do. It's okay. It's allowed. 20% of the people that you interact with will always give you headache. So there's no problem with that. 20%, which is another 200, those are the guys who just used to keep silent, you know, keep quiet. They never said anything. They're just silent. You send message and that's all. The other 20 percent, another 200 people, those are the guys who just say ok or OK or fine or cool. You know, they just say one word. They're just somehow bored. They are not bored. They're OK, you know. And the last 200 people will always give you business. 20 percent of the people who you interact with will always be positive unto you. And 20% will always give you the hardest time. So I used to use this rule of a thousand so that when I send to a thousand people text messages, I am sure that 200 of them will give me business. They'll either tell me, my auntie is coming to Mombasa or someone is coming or how did you know I was about to come or I'll come next month, please, I'll give you business because you cannot be hated or loved by everyone. This is a fact. So if you want to dominate in social media, make money, use text message. Definitely that will become a thing of uh, a good way of how you can be able to enrich yourself and become better when it comes to social media and making money. Rule number three, private messaging on WhatsApp groups. We have WhatsApp, they are free. Why not create a group and start sending your advertisements and sending your ideas and have people who you share ideas and then you can be able to share more and more. I am in several WhatsApp groups whereby um, People sell uh, books like ebooks and all that. I don't buy ebooks all the time, but I'm a member in one or two because I want to read a thing or two. And still in there, there are guys who are posting day in, day out about books. And since I know this group is about was uh, it's about ebooks i don't complain and even if i have a new book that i want to uh, share out to my friends i will post it there and nobody will co uh, complain but i won't be posting something about the iraq war or us or whatever in an ebooks understand understand your niche understand your area and as well when it comes still to whatsapp learn to interact with people the other day i was talking about musicians musicians especially in Kenya, they will keep mum on you. They will not, you say, hi, how are you doing? They keep quiet because they are stars. But the moment they have a new song released or they want to win some awards, Kalasha Awards, Groove Awards, all those kind of things, they will be all over in your inbox sending you messages and telling you, please support me, support me, share this to 10 people. Why should I share to 10 people you never even talk to me? So definitely, if you want to become great in social media, interact with people. That's why it's called social. Interact with people. Point number four, place simple ads. That is on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Advertisements are very integral, a big, integ uh, let me say, it's an integral part of uh, making it in the social media world. There is no way you can make it big without advertisements. There are people who want to become overnight celebrities and you spend nothing. Yes, maybe if, if it's a scandal, fine, because scandals, they go like a bushfire. But if you really want to grow in a, in, a, in a smaller way and in a better way, kindly do advertisements. It costs you a very, a very small amount of money. The first time I used to do advertisements for Facebook ads, I used to pay about 200 shillings, 200 Kenya shillings, and reach almost a thousand plus people and be able to share my message. And over the days as I grew and as I knew, I can use 2,000 shillings to gain 20,000 shillings, you know, to make 20,000 shillings. And if I can use 2,000 to make 20,000 shillings, why can't I use 20,000 shillings to make 200,000? And why can't I use 200,000 Kenya shillings to make 2 million? That is how exactly the math goes. Spend money to make money. That is a fact. And to the last point is, 
create good content. Who, who wants to watch your bad content? Nobody wants to watch your bad content. Nobody wants to hear all the things that you've done and uh, you know, you've just putting, it's like you've just picked your videos from the ones you're doing on your selfies with your friends and then you post on social media and you want people to follow. Have a story. If you're traveling, if you check my videos, I usually have a sequence especially the travel videos i came from here i went here we interacted this way and as i am going i'm explaining what i'm about to do next what i'm about to do next what i'm about to do next and at the end i finish up in a good way i tell people this is the end guys we have reached here you know next time it's going to be like this make people be anticipated just like news have you ever watched news we have headlines which come just before the news to make people curious of what is about to come. They have a sequence of how they have planned. They don't just pop in news from all over and expect people to understand. So if you want to dominate in social media, create good content. Watch yourself. Shoot a video, watch yourself, correct yourself, call your friends to correct you. Become a fan by yourself before you even become other people become your fans. Because if you don't like your content, how do you expect other people to love your content? So those are various ways of how you can dominate social media in the year 2020. I'll be speaking much more very, very soon. I post videos every Thursday and Sunday and sometimes on Tuesdays. So please don't miss any of the videos. These are, these are uh, a button there, a uh, subscription button down there. Please just kindly subscribe to this channel. And of course, click the notification button so that you don't miss any videos. You can share and comment, leave something. Let me know which video might you want me to talk about. What would you want me to speak about on the coming time? And thank you very much, guys. Have a brilliant, brilliant moment. See ya.